Hey, Mulevinaka, and welcome to Churchill Park here in Lopoka for round 11 of the Ron Massey Cup. It's the Kaiviti Silk Tails playing here at home against the Canterbury Bulldogs of Bankstown. And of course, these two teams met in round two of the competition. And on that occasion, it was the Silk Tails that won 38 points to 10. Of course, the visitors will be looking for a win in this very same ground where the two teams met in round two. The Silk Tails just to managed to get their hands on the ball. It's a bit overcast here in Lotoka in the Sugar City. But we're expecting plenty of action. There's a bit of a concern there for the two players on the ground. Bit of a collision. So the two players just receiving attention at the moment. It's uh, Malay Tamavua gets back up. So it's good to see that um, Zach Hetherington is all right. Of course, Minioni uh, Tangi Tui Mua playing for the visitors uh, this afternoon. And Epeli Sukunaivalu also in their lineup. So two Fiji boys with the visitors uh, as the silk tails. Interesting fact though, Bale Tamavua and uh, Penioni Tangitu Mua are in fact cousins playing in opposite teams. Silk Tails handed off, controlling position at the moment. Naruma. With a kick downfield, the chase is on as well. Canterbury with possession at the moment. William did very well, but um, it looks like he may have just lost possession there. So a chance for the Silk Tails. We welcome you in wherever you're joining us from here in Fiji and of course the right around the world taking a keen interest on the Ron Massey Cup in the New South Wales Rugby League competition Malay Tamavua sends it along the silk tails just make their way over the halfway mark Trying to charge up through the middle, but a gang tackle. Canterbury doing well to stop that momentum. Charging on once again, the Silk Tails gain some good yards. Bola carries it on there for the Silk Tails. Tambusakia, an unfortunate. They lose possession, the silk tails. So they were working their way upfield really well and unfortunately just could not hang on to the ball.
Hang in two more, waits for it. Sends it in field. And they lose possession though. So some good collisions out there. The Silk Tails will get another opportunity here. Naruma, the silk tails through um, the Koning Yo. Back to Naruma. Malakai Kovikalo there as the silk tails goes back to Naruma. The change of direction from uh, Nassau. Silk tails. Working their way upfield. Tamusakia back to Naruma. He sends it to the second tier. It's Bola that finds a way through. Bola just caught. Last ball here for the Silktails. Comes back for the Nar Naruma. It goes for the high kick. Oh, well secured by the Canterbury side. They were under pressure, but it was secured brilliantly by Lisala. So under pressure on that occasion, the Canterbury side did very well. Kept in play by Timothy Bola, the Siltails, Seru. They might have just lost position there, Seru. Of course, the former QVS head boy, also captain the Fiji schoolboys team, has been quite the athlete. And signed on to the Silk Tails this year. He's apparently also a discus champion in schools athletics. Banks down with the opportunity here. Gone about seven minutes. In this first half, Ron Massey clash, the New South Wales Rugby League competition. It's the Kaiviti Silktails playing here at home against the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Secure the change of direction from the silk tails. Williams, Tambo Sakia trying to work their way through this Canterbury defense. Tambo Sakia links up with Mbola. Good footwork there from Mbola, just eased his way through. Again, a direct route there from Kovikalo. And the Silk Tails look dangerous at the moment. Comes back for Naruma. Short ball right out to the edge. It's well secured there by the Silk Tails. Seru waits for it. Comes back in field as Williams goes for the ball and he secures it. Let's wait for the referee. 
No, in fact, they couldn't quite control that ball. Good option there from the Silktails. The Bulldogs working well to sustain pressure. Tangi Tuimua. Bailey Cox. Tangi Tuimua. They send it out to the edge. The Canterbury, oh, just left behind, unfortunately, but it's picked up here by the Silktails. Away they go. A chance here for the Silktails, but the defense comes quickly and shuts it down. Wild pass all the way to the back. It's picked up by the Silktails. Referee saying, Canterbury, you need to get back on side. So a chance for the Silktails here in round 11 of the Ron Massey Cup. The Silk Tails, Naruma, sends it out so they have a great opportunity here. Seru, Kovekalo again, finding plenty of work early in this match. Comes back towards the left. And they lose possession again. So unable to complete their set of six, the Silk Tails, but it's Canterbury. Comes back in field, out wide it comes. Loose ball again, so both teams have been plagued with handling mistakes. Mbola, it's been quite nippy. The Silk Tails fullback comes in field for Kovikalo. Tambu Sakia, Naruma. The Silk Tails. Trying to string their passes together. Comes back for Kovikalo. Nice short ball there for Williams. Gets the offload going as the Silktails scurry through. Tambu Sakir to Naruma. Goes to the back. A little grubber along. The chase is on. <laughs> And it looks like the Silktails may have just got that. We'll wait for the referee to confirm it. Yes, she's given it. And a wonderful start here for the Silktails. They lead by four. But it was that little grubber that caused problems for the Canterbury. Bankstown Bulldogs. And the Silk Tails were able to capitalize and they lead by four.
Turang ilmu ramah mai tempat kan nama tempat tu semua nama tempat si beli kami di sini. Kita dah nak kira tu kaya nama tu si beri baca jual nama tempat si beli kan tu beli bulldog. Kerana itu mesti orang tu masuk lim. Nah semua dah tempat kan. Oh Melly Nasau nama tempat si beli kedua. So Melly Nasau with that try, Tomasi Seru. We'll see if he can add the extras here. A great start for the home team. Seru makes no mistake. It's six nil. First try to uh, KVT Silkates, number 11, made in the south. And uh, converted by number 5, Thomas Sil. Canterbury, Bankstown, Bulldogs, send it long from Neon. Naruma. Tambusakia. The Silk Tails obviously a lot more confident after that try from Meli Nassau. And Siru adding the extras for their six points. Naruma sends it into space. Neon was back there. Well placed. The uh, Bulldogs fullback. Pressing defense from the Silk Tails. Bulldogs know they need to reply immediately. Tangi Tuimua kicks it downfield. And unfortunately, Vevuke coming up with a mistake there. So Canterbury with a great opportunity to get themselves back in this game. They're only trailing by six. We had a slight drizzle in the morning, rain overnight as well. But it's sort of uh, stopped at the moment, but it's still overcast conditions. Bit of a difficult ball there for William. Tangi Tuimua in field. It goes for Josh. Tangi Tuimua links up with uh, Joseph. Loose ball again. If you've just joined us, it's the Kaiviti Silk Tails that lead in this round 11 Ron Messi Cup clash against the visitors, the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs, 6 0. Secure to Seru. Uh, 
I'm with the Kia. Mix up with the Nassau. Just over the halfway mark. Back in field it goes. The Koning Yo. Gaining a couple of meters there for the Silk Tails. Malay Tamavua out to the edge. Well secured though by Vevuke. And it was their last ball, so it's a changeover. Just six points separating the two teams. Just in the halfway mark of the first half. Canterbury hoping to capitalize on their set of six. That was much better from Bailey Cox. Tangi Tuimua. Sukunai Valu. Tangi Tuimua again on the short side. Good passes. They find some space. Much better work from the uh, visitors. Heads back to Pollard, who puts it up in the air. It's a test here for the Silk Tails. But they just managed to get themselves out of that red zone. Veivuke did well. Tomasi Seru hands it off. The Silk Tails trying to weave their way through this uh, Bulldogs defense. The Silk Tails with the lead by six. Naruma, he sends it down long. Neon is back there. Caught it beautifully. Neon leads the counter for this uh, Canterbury side. Just trailing by six at the moment as they send it along. Good defense again from the Silk Tails, putting pressure on the ball carrier. Hangi Tuimua sends it along on the short side for Hetherington. Hangi Tuimua back in field it goes. This time it's Stringer. But he's bundled back. Hangi Tuimua, nice short ball there for Pollard. Hetherington with possession. Lisala. Whoa, that looked dangerous. Just that tip tackle. <laughs> From Sephania Mola. So the Silk Tails will have to be careful with their discipline. Change as well for the uh, Silk Tails as uh, Komai Savai comes on the field of play. Sukunai Valu for the Canterbury. Banks down Bulldogs. A great opportunity for them here. They're just trailing by six at the moment. Tangitui Moa. Nice ball. Joseph. Tangi Tuimua again, Sukunai Valu, over he goes. And a great reply here from the Canterbury Bulldogs. It's 6-4. Well, patient build-up. Tangi Tuimua playing a key role. Delivering the ball left and right, and on that occasion, he picked Sukunai Valu, who was too big, too strong, crashed over for the Bulldogs' try. 
and they've come back quickly. Stacy can land this. We'll be locked at six all. Stacy raises the flags. We are locked at six all and this round 11 clash in the Ron Massey Cup. Well, they suddenly just picked up the pace, the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. And Sukunaivalu was unstoppable from that close to the try line. Seru straight into the hands of the Canterbury Bailey Cox who did well Sukunai Valu looking for plenty more action it's been very effective so far getting some good ground after that uh, wonderful try Tangi Tuimua, kick into space, Mbola is after it. Trying to run away from the Canterbury defense. The Silk Tails with possession at the moment. The Koningyo. Picked up good meters gain. Naruma Komai Savai has just come on to the field of play. Fresh legs for the silk tails. Naruma kicks it into space once again. Neon head heads back there. Good pressure on defense from the Silk Tails. Bulldogs try and organize themselves. It's six all at the moment. Canterbury and the Silk Tails try a piece conversion, both successful. Tangi to Imoa. Tangitu Moa goes himself just on the halfway mark. Pollard kicks it long and it's a bit too far. Got about 12 minutes to go in this first half. It's been pretty tight. The two teams locked at six all. The Silk Tails with possession. Seru takes it up quickly but loses possession. Some mistake there from the Silk Tails. Done so well to get himself into space but he just lost possession.
So a chance here for Canterbury. to him more. Joseph. Joseph to Sukanaivalu. Tangi to him more. Pollard. Nice short ball there for Hetherington. Canterbury. Looking dangerous. In field it goes. Stringer. Unfortunately, lost there as Naruma. For the silk tails. Seru. Good work there from Vevuke, but again, the turnover comes for Canterbury. Good pressure on defense. Tangi to him more. Picks it up at pace. Canterbury looking dangerous. Stringer. Chance for Canterbury to break the deadlock. Stringer. Defense holds for the um, Silk Tails. Tangi to him more. Pollard. A switch is good from William K. Tangi to him more once again. Links up with Stringer. Nice quick ball. Almost through is AJ Jones, but Canterbury still looking dangerous. A little grubber along, but it's picked up there by the Silk Tails. It's a good option from Joseph, but read well on defense by the Silk Tails. And they survived that Canterbury onslaught. They were looking absolutely dangerous. Seru. Musakia Malay Tamavua Neon again back there for Canterbury We're still locked at six all Pollard Nice short ball there for William K. Caleb Lehman is on the pitch. It's replaced up. Tangi Tuimua. Sukunai Valu looking for work. Kick into space. It's a good one. The Silk Tails under pressure. Oh, and unfortunately, they just couldn't capitalize on that Canterbury. That was an excellent kick once again from Joseph. But they just couldn't finish that off. Canterbury. Less than eight minutes to go in this first half. The two teams are still locked at six all. to Seru for the Silk Tails well they got off to a good start the Silk Tails through Meli Nassau and the conversion was good from Seru for their six points 
And then Canterbury replied through Sukunaivalu. Conversion from uh, Stacy for their six points. And the two teams locked at six all at the moment. Round 11 of the Ron Massey Cup. It's been a great opportunity for the Kaviti Silktails to play in this competition. It's been a long time coming, but they've certainly grown in leaps and bounds since joining the competition. A high ball under pressure. Canterbury Neon comes away with it, but the Silktails come up quickly on defense. Well, Lisala did well under that high ball. Lehman, Stringer, Joseph, stringing their passes well together, Canterbury. Joseph with the high ball. A test here for the Silk Tails. Mbola handles it well. The Silk Tails full back. Live action coming to you from Churchill Park here in Lotoka. For round 11 of the Ron Massey Cup, the two teams are still locked at nil all with, a, with six points apiece, rather, with uh, less than five minutes to go before the break. And they've lost possession, too. Good pressure on defense from Canterbury. Mavalo, Sukunaivalo loses the ball. The silk tail through Nassau, who scored the opening try for the silk tails. Komai Savai spins around. Naruma, nice ball out to Komai Savai. The silk tails, back to Naruma. Infield it comes, they've got space on the edge. They book it. Time winding down. Balay Tamavua sends it up high in the rumors after Neon, but he's been pretty safe at the back, Neon, for Canterbury. Driving defense again there from the Silk Tails, trying to put pressure on Canterbury. It's still six all. Less than two minutes to go in this match. 
before half time. William K. driven back though by the silk tails. Lehman to Sukunaivalu again, almost lost position. Lehman, Joseph, delayed pass, Paula, the switch is good from Canterbury, the pass back to Joseph. A brilliant try here for Canterbury. And they break the deadlock and take the lead. Canterbury 10, the Kaiviti Sotel 6. Well, the change in direction really caused problems for the Silk Tails. And Joseph, who sort of orchestrated that from the start, is able to finish it off in the end. For the lead, it's 10 6. And the visitors. Take the lead for the first time in this match. And that's the halftime hoot as well, so. They were able to get the try just before half time. We'll just wait for the kick from Stacy. Should be pretty simple for Stacy. Right in front of the sticks. Stacy does well. And we head into halftime here in round 11 of the Ron Messi Cup. It's the visitors, the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs that lead the home team, Kaviti Silk Tails, 12-6. Welcome back to right. Churchill hey, Park lady. here in Lotoka for round 11 of the Ron Massey Cup. It's the visitors, the Canterbury Bankstown uh, team that lead the Kaiviti Silk Tails uh, 12 points to six. Two tries for them in that first half. Joseph and uh, Sukunaivalu, of course, both converted by Stacy for their 12 points. The Kaiviti Silk Tails, well, they got off to a good start. The try to Meli Nassau, conversion from Tomasi Seru for their six points. But um, it's Canterbury that, um, of course, really capitalized on their set of six. Neon has been great for them at fullback. And, of course, the halves combination of uh, Joseph and Pollard have been absolutely effective. Big forwards in Sukunaivalu, Hetherington, and Stringer. They really gained plenty of good ground for them. The Silk Tails, of course, started well, but then just couldn't quite complete their set of six. Unable to get any more points after that try. And, of course, their coach, uh, Wes Nangama, would have had plenty to say to them at halftime. They won against the Panrith brothers 23-10 in uh, Prince Charles Park in Nandi. That would have 
given them a lot of confidence coming into this game. But an area that, um, of course, Wes Mangamo is concerned about is um, the way that they capitalize on their set of six. So Canterbury. So Joseph sends it high again, trying to put pressure on the silk tails, but they secure it well. Naruma sends it uh, in field for Tambusakia. Naruma. This time, uh, the Kaunigyo. Tambusakia. The silk tails trying to work their way upfield. Naruma sends it back and again. Neon places himself really well at the back. William, good carry. Joseph links up there with uh, Lisala. Yeah, high shot. And the silk tails really need to watch their discipline. It'll be important for them in this second half. They're trailing by six as Joseph clears it. Scored a great try just before the break, uh, Joseph Pollard. Thank you to him, Sukunai Valu. Josh. Thank you to Links up there with Stringer. Stringer. Good carry from Stringer. Controlling possession at the moment. Uh, Canterbury. So Tangi Tuimo, of course, former captain of the Silk Tales, he links up with Sukunai Balu. Scored a great try in that first half. Comes back for Tangi Tuimo. Pollard looking for the switch, but they lose possession. They were quite effective with a change in direction that led to that try just before the break. Just couldn't execute that well on that occasion. And so the silk tails. Well, it's been a great opportunity for the silk tails to play in the Ron Massey Cup. And of course, a lot of work went into that through former dual international Petro Divinideva and of course uh, Stephen O'Driscoll in ensuring that the Silk Tails got a place in the Ron Massey Cup competition. And after they were camped in uh, Australia for the first year of competition, and they've been glad to be able to come to Fiji and play some games here. The Silk tells with an opportunity, Fenton Williams, a good carry there. Oh, last ball again. Really will be an area of concern for the silk tails handling really letting them down of course they without their forwards lovakuro roseman and buki there were all out due to injuries 
tangi tu moa lis lis sala over the halfway tangi tu moa heatherington short ball there for sukunaivalu again again good ground tangi tu moa to joseph aj jones Offload is good. They get a chance. Lehman scurrying through that gap. Tangi Tui Moa links up with Joseph once again. Hetherington, a nice short ball. Canterbury with the momentum and the flow at the moment. Tangi Tui Moa and Sukunaivalu once again. Last ball here for Canterbury. Nice ball for Hetherington. He goes himself and it just gets over the line. May have just been denied. Well, the Silk Tails certainly put their body on the line on that occasion to deny Hetherington. Great work on defense from the home side. Seru looking for work. Some space here for the silk tails. Naruma kicks it up high. Neon, he loses the ball, and the silk tails benefit from it. So, first time we've seen Neon with a mistake. Out wide it goes, Seru goes for the try line, and Seru almost skidded out. But fortunately, he was able to dot that ball down. And the Silk Tails pounce on a Canterbury Bankstown mistake. Neon with that high ball. First time we've seen him not able to control that high ball. And the Silk Tails quick to it. They sent it out quickly to Seru. And the Silk Tails fight back early in the second half. It's 12-10. Seru will try and add the extras. Former Cuvius uh, head boy. And of course, he led his uh, Cuvius team to victory in the school's uh, under 19 uh, competition. course he's signed on to the silk tails and he's made great strides since then and this will be important if he can land this will be tied up just hits the post and goes over so Seru forces a tie here the silk tails and Canterbury Bankstown are locked at 12 all in this uh, round 11 of the Ron Massey Cup. <laughs> Went backwards from, from uh, Naruma. The 
Axel tells he hand it away. Uh, they would have got plenty of confidence after that try. We were in a similar situation in the first half when the two teams were locked at six all. Kovic Kolo gaining good ground for the Silk Tails. Neon keeps it in play. Lisala picks it up, but it kind of went forward. So unfortunate for the Canterbury side. Neon did so well to try and keep it in play, but uh, the ball just uh, went forward. So a chance for the Silk Tails here, Seru. They go towards the short side looking for space. Over he goes! No, not quite there. Comes back to Naruma. Nice short ball for Kovikalo again. Chance here for the Silk Tails. Naruma, short ball there, but uh, just losing their footing. Bola sends it in for Naruma. Looks for the offload. He sends it to Kovikalo, who loses the ball. Opportunity lost there for the Silk Tails. Probably just rushed things a bit. Wolf all. Canterbury and the Kaiviti Silk Tails. Tangi Tui Moa. Sukunai Valu. Kick it downfield, Bola. The bounce of the ball is kind for him. Silk tails. Of a close to Naruma, the inside pass is good. Naruma beats one, the support is great. And in go the Silk Tails. Fantastic show of flair here in Churchill Park. And it's the Silk Tails that take the lead. But fantastic play. 16 12. So Timothy Kotoisuva on the end of some brilliant play from the Silk Tails, Naruma featuring prominently.
And he took the space and the support was good from Timothy Kotoisuba. The try scored by Timothy 16-12. They break the deadlock to take the lead, the Silk Tails. And Seru will look to see if he can add the extras. Seru takes his time, strikes it, and he just misses it. So it's just four they points separating the these two teams. The Silk Tails have nudged ahead 16-12. Nassau did well to secure that ball, and that was a bit of a high shot. Again, they just couldn't keep it out, and uh, Lisala leads the charge for Canterbury. They lose possession. Unfortunate for Canterbury, they've done so well to keep the ball in play and just lost though in contact. Seru, the silk tails, get back to Kovikalo, takes them over the halfway mark, Kumai Savai, oh lost ball, Canterbury can't believe their luck, they get possession back. Tangi Tui Moa, Pollard. Tangi Tui Moa looks in field. Hetherington. Oh, lost possession once again, and it's picked up here by the Silk Tails uh, through the Kauning Gyo. So some good pressure on defense from uh, either side. This occasion, it was the uh, Silk Tails that forced that error. Kobe Kalo, he's been very strong for the Silk Tails today. Thought about the offload, he gets it away as the Silk Tails. Balei Tamavua, the switch, Seru fends one off. Oh, and he loses the ball. Layman, Canterbury, driven back. Oh, 
Hetherington, Pollard. The two teams very close at the moment. Hetherington, good charge upfield. He's had a good work rate. Pollard. They lose possession and it just beats everybody out. Just four points separating these two teams here in round 11 of the Ron Massey Cup. Of a Kalo for the Silk Tails. Gains a couple of meters there. Maleta Mavua takes on the defense of Pollard. You're queuing up the Silk Tails. Kovikalo to Naruma. A little chip kick over the top. And forced <laughs> to take it there. Canterbury, William. And it'll be a return kick downfield. So a chance for the Silk Tails. To relaunch their attack. Let it bounce, and then Masao takes it upfield. Scored the opening try of the match in that first half for the Silk Tails. Mano Vilikesa. Toko on the short side. A change from Bola. Toko straight to Naruma. He's got Kovikalo alongside him there. He's quite a handful, Kovikalo. Toko once again goes himself, turns around and plunks it down. The Kaiviti Siltail celebrating already. Referee confirms it. 20 points to 12. Clever from Toko. He just turned around and was able to dock that ball down as the Silk Tails extend their lead 20 points to 12. Well, whatever was told to them at halftime has certainly Worked wonders. <laughs> Sarah will look to add the extras here. Man from uh, Kete in Totoya Lao extends the lead for the Silk Tails. It's 22-12. Uh, Certainly a much better performance from the Silk Tails in this second half. Yeah, defense has been on point. 
And unfortunately, they just lost control of the ball there. And so Canterbury have an opportunity here. They've utilized their set of six well. The Silk Tails in this second half. And the opportunities that they've had from drop balls because of their very good defense. It's given them the lead so far in the match. It's 22-12. But Canterbury have an opportunity here. About less than 14 minutes to go in this match. Joseph, the switch is good there with the AJ Jones. Myers, Hetherington, short ball there for Bailey Cox, but again, gang tackled from the Silk Tails, trying to put pressure on the ball carrier. Myers links up with Joseph, a short ball there for Lehman. Myers, Hetherington. Myers to Pollard, a short ball. The change of direction is good from Canterbury. Last ball here for them. They charge upfield, swinging around twice, but just couldn't get over that try line. The Silk Tails defense holds. And they shut out uh, Myers, who tried a double spin there to get the ball on the try line. Just denied, though. The Silk Tails making their way upfield with the lead in this match. Less than 12 minutes to go. Kovikalo, Manoa, Vilikesa right on the halfway mark. Balei Tamavoa is back in this match. Good carry there from William, Canterbury, Joseph. Myers, Neon. Myers. Massimo Hetherington goes to Joseph all the way to the back for Neon. Time winding down on this match with the Silk Tails. Canterbury, a sense of urgency from them with the time winding down on the clock. Hetherington, nice ball there for Joseph. AJ Jones. Myers again on the short side. Joseph, a little grubber along. It's clever and 
The Silk Tails force to send it out. Canterbury position themselves for the return kick and Neon does well. Trying to bust his way through Bailey Cox. Myers for Pollard. And a mistake there from Canterbury. Twelve. The Silk Tails sitting comfortably with the lead at the moment. You can never count out this Canterbury team. Kovikolo gets through. Kovikolo is so uh, dangerous with the ball. Kovikolo fends one off. Kovikolo just short. What a run from this young man. He's been sensational. Malay Tamavua. Over he goes. And the Silk Tails get another one. But Kovikolo, of course, laid the platform. He's been impressive in this match. Twenty-six twelve. Impressive from the Kaiviti Silk Tails and Kovikolo. He's got a ton of speed apart from the huge strength and power. And he managed to hand it over to Mbale Tamabua, who claimed the try in the end. And it's a welcomed return for him to the Silk Tails fold. poised on the far edge to try and add the extras in this match about less than six minutes to go but how good is Kovikolo he's been a real standout for the Silk Tails in this match Flags, it's 28 12. The Silk Tails storming home here in round 11 of the Ron Massey Cup in the New South Wales Rugby League competition. Take again from the kick. We'll hand the Silk Tails yet another opportunity. Well, the 
Canterbury Bulldogs led at half time 12 6. But um, the second half dominated by the Silk Tails is Kovic Hello. Another strong carry from the young man, Naisa Toko, Naruma. The switch. Toko to Naruma, taken at pace there by Simeone, the counting yo. Toko, Naruma once again. He is, of course, the orchestrator in this team. Toko. Malay Tamavua, little grubber along. Lisala's under pressure in his own try line and is forced back in. So good pressure being applied by the Silk Tails. Canterbury will now have to kick it back downfield. Neon sends a short one. The Kowning Gyo picks it up. They organize themselves on attack. Naruma sends it in field. Charging up there is Manoa Vilikesa. Nice Atoko. The switch again to Kovek Hello. Toko just surveying his options. Toko links up with Naruma, but he loses the ball. Opportunity lost there by the Silk Tails. Canterbury behind by 16 points. Hetherington. Myers, Bailey, Pollard. Joseph with a kick over the top. It's well secured by Kotoi Suva. He scored a great try as well, Mbola. Naruma. Toko, back to Naruma, Malay Tamavua, out to the edge for Seru, away goes Seru, looking for a double here, and Seru dives in. A double for Seru in this match. It's 32-12. Sixth try here for the Silk Tails. And that was beautifully executed. They just sent the ball out wide and that's where they had the mismatch. And uh, of course, uh, Seru with the pace on the edge gets a double in this match. And the sixth try as well for the Silk Tails. 32-12, 32-12, just before full time here. We'll just wait for the extras from Seru, but um, the Silk Tails, well. It's been a much better performance from them in the second half. 
and they'll be absolutely pleased with um, the way the second half has turned out for them. Canterbury, of course, will be disappointed. They led at halftime 12 points to six and just didn't get the opportunities in the second half. They couldn't capitalize on the position that they had. It's Naruma that steps up to try and add the extras here. He strikes it well and gets it done as well. And so the Kaiviti Siltels get another win here at home after trailing the Canterbury Bankstown team 12 6 at halftime. They get it done in the second half to claim the win 34 points to 12.